care. Your lifestyle on other people. You should not force your lifestyle. I'm not forcing shit on nobody. But what I will not do is tolerate someone like Storm Monroe who has over $40,000 on his motherfucking platform and he's spreading hate to my community, to your community. Because you're gay too. Anytime you suck dick or take it up your ass, you're gay. Okay, first of all, I would like to say this. Clearly, you don't have to to your show trying to present it. You're talking about all this. You've never been, you you never been in so his house or anything like that, Trey. Right? You, you never did anything like up. that. You and Storm Mongo got me fucked up. And I know for a fact, either you or Storm leaked my motherfucking number, but it's been changed, baby. It's been no changed. One. Y'all can play all the motherfucking games all you want. Bitch, you don't know my motherfucking information. Okay. What you gotta say? I want to say no, this. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna mute you, Trey. I'm gonna mute you. Thank Go you. ahead. I would like to say this. This is what Trey does, people. He goes, he beef with everybody. He does this on everybody's show. He calls it everybody's show. That's what he does. He, he think everybody is the enemy. That's what he does, child. But it's okay. Game recognized game. I'm I'm here for a coin. Bye bye. I'm here for I'm all for it, and that's what we would continue to do. And he say these allegations. First, would like to fact check him. Storm Monroe is a straight man. Um, number one, you never been in his house. Number two, you never been in his bedroom. And number three, you never been in his kitchen. Okay, um, so you never been in any of those places. So you cannot say 100% what he is. And just because a person that you think you don't know, you don't know who what I'm doing. I don't even know what you ate earlier in the day. So I can't make assumptions that you ate fried chickens and baby back ribs and collard greens. I can't make that assumption because at the end of the day, you know what you ate in a few minutes ago. I can't make that the same way I can't do that and judge you on your sides as a brother um concerning your weight i you can't just storm on roll when he's come hey, towards his sexuality i'm working on my motherfucking weight bitch unlike you i own my own motherfucking house you're living in a one bedroom apartment with three other motherfuckers you can't come for me bitch show your motherfucking bank statements bitch i got money in my accounts several bitch don't come for me bitch I'm working out every motherfucking day. I'm paying a couple hundred dollars to my fucking trainer weekly. What are you doing? What are you doing? The amount of money that I am paying my personal trainer doesn't even equal your fucking rent. Okay? You're living in a motherfucking project in a one-bedroom apartment sharing it with three fucking crackheads. Don't come for me. Do not come for me. All you can say is my way. Bitch, at least I got my own fucking kitchen. At least I can cook me and my man something to eat and my friends and my family whenever they want to come to my motherfucking house. You can't do that because you're sharing a one-bedroom shack with three fucking crackheads. So try me if you want to. Try me if you want to. Take your motherfucking medication. Go to your motherfucking therapist appointment. But bitch, don't fucking do mental illness on me because I'm not mentally ill. Bitch, if I had a problem, I would get help. Because I have the coins and I have the insurance to do so, bitch. Do you have insurance? Do you have a job? Last time I checked, you were getting SSI checks, boo-boo. All right. Um, again, this is what he does. And he say all these type of things that he have bank records. He say he have attorneys and all that. Game recognized, gay brother. Ain't nobody going to meet you. You're not on my docket. You're not. What I will ad address you on do you want to be a professional troll and just call into people's shows and they get an old nasty piece of coin off of you? You go ahead and get that. They're going to just get a coin and stuff like that. And they're going to go to, you're going to go to each show. They're going to get all nasty piece of coin. And so um, that's what he's doing. And he say these allegations. This is the same brother to remind you. He made allegations towards Tasha K, her family, her husband, her children. He made allegations towards Armand, his life, his um, phone number. He now making allegations towards Storm Monroe. He's now making allegations towards Wiley. So again, um, I think we should call you um, the allegation guy. You know, you always come with allegations. You always come with stuff. So that's you. If you want to be labeled like that, do you, brother. I ain't gonna lose an ounce of sleep. And I'm gonna continue to work out in the gym where you can see the results of me working Bitch, out. First of all, you don't know me before I even got on motherfucking camera. Second of all, I am paying a couple of hundred dollars a week to my trainer. Bitch, you will see the results if you actually paid attention to my motherfucking channel. 
Second, yes, I did make allegations against Tasha K, but I wasn't the only one, like I said. And I called into that bitch Storm on Road show and gave him the highest rated motherfucking life to right my motherfucking wrong. Yes, I was wrong for what I said about Tasha K and her family, but bitch, do you write your motherfucking wrongs? Because you spread lies about several people on YouTube every motherfucking day, bitch. Unlike you, I can stand up in my motherfucking truth and I can take accountability for the fuck up shit I did. People have came on this live and called you out and all you did was play motherfucking victim, bitch. All up to your motherfucking shit, bitch. Now talk about that. Got me all up in my motherfucking house, irritated. I need me a motherfucking alcoholic drink now and get him with your crackhead ass. Mm -hmm. Alleged crackhead. I don't know what you do. You ain't gonna get me, bitch. Okay, can you I... You ain't gonna sue me, honey. Can I respond? No. Yeah. Respond. Uh, well... No. Well, first of all, um, of course, I don't do crack. Crack, say no to drugs, um, everything like that. We don't do crack over here. I'm too big to do crack, you know what I'm saying? Too sexy to do crack, you know, um, everything. So when you're saying crack, obviously, um, you don't know about crack, okay? But I would also like to say this, um, you guys. This was an amazing experience. And I also like to say this about Trey, brother, it, you, you do you. Ain't nobody going to stop you. You keep going on. Like, you ain't welcome where, where we at, what we try to do anymore. Because all you want, you don't come with nothing new, bro. You just going to, we just going to get clicks and views off of you. We're going to get an old nasty piece of corn off of you. That's it. You're going to be content. And I think what you want, you want to be accepted. And if you want to be accepted, what do you do need to do? You need to focus on your content, brother. You say you in the gym, go to the gym, hit the trail mill, hit those weights, baby. Lose that weight, my brother. That's good. But uh, ain't nothing wrong with me. You could go ahead and keep it going because I'm all about a click and a view. I will respond to you. I'm too sexy to do, do, to, to do that. I can clearly see myself and I can see my ankles and um, I don't and all that type of things. But you see, if I see, so let me say this, Brianna. If I say something towards you, how you look, obviously people will start saying that I'm this. But even though you call me that, so I'm not going to meet you on that level, brother. I'm going to just. I'm going to just pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, heal him in his mind and work with his tongue. Give him direction, Lord. Help him with that picture that's in the background. Teach him. Put an idea bitch, in it. This is my motherfucking African picture, bitch. Bitch. This is my African picture, bitch. I celebrate my motherfucking blackness, bitch. And as far as my looks, I'm confident in my looks. And my niggas confident in my looks. Bitch, I ain't never had no problems. Bitch, what you need to do is get you a motherfucking business. Matter of fact, get a job. Suck some dick. Start a business, bitch. Take T.S. Madison route, ho. Okay? Because unlike you, I'm very educated. I can pull out my degree right now. Bitch, I have money in my bank account. Bitch, I'm buying my first home, bitch. Mortgage. Unlike you, I'm not paying rent for a one-bedroom shack, bitch. I'm paying a mortgage for a three-bedroom home. Let's be very clear. Secondly, I don't give a fuck what you want to talk about. You and Storm got going on. You're sucking his dick. That's what you're doing, bitch. You're probably sucking his dick and eating his asshole. That's why you're, you're following behind his faggot ass. Because, bitch, you want the motherfucking clout. But he can't give it to you. And, of course, bitch, you're going to talk about me because I am content. Bitch, I got the YouTube streets motherfucking popping, bitch. I did that in two motherfucking weeks. But you've been on YouTube for 10 years. And you only got seven motherfucking thousand subscribers. Bitch, the only time you get clicks and views is when you talk about Armand motherfucking Wiggins and his black ass ain't stuck your cockeyed ass, bitch. So keep my, so bitch, unlike you, I can own in my motherfucking troop. Yes, I can own in my motherfucking troop, okay? Bitch, get the motherfucking surgery. Bye-bye, that's all I gotta say. Got me hot up in here. Well? Ooh, eat me some food. I'm tired of this shit, but at the gym for the past hour. Now I'm coming on live, bitch, and I found some information that your motherfucking ass is dead, bitch. You got me fucked up. You got the right one, bitch. You got the right yes, motherfucking one. Do. Bitch, I'm gonna roast your ass on my motherfucking channel tomorrow. Simply what do you right, do? I'm gonna roast you down, bitch. I got some motherfucking okay. information about your punk ass, bitch. Well, um, when you get that information... Um, please do oh, I got continue the to baby. work out. I got the uh, continue to do that. Baby. I need to breathe, sir. You, you're burn. The well, well, obviously, you should talk. You you should talk it. Throw your arms so you can burn some calories, um, brother. Yes, bitch. You, yes, you bitch. Yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. Why don't you, you know, you know, burn the calories? We yeah. all know you can yeah. do I understand. You maybe were bullied for being a true kid. I understand. I I get it. I understand. I get it.
I, I get yeah. it. You're doing this on what TikTok. Do you, do? Do, you work? do you have a job? Because you're on YouTube all day, every day. Unlike you, I work. I work a nine to five. What do you do? You live in a one bedroom apartment with three fucking crackheads in the fucking projects. Bitch, you ain't got shit. Well, you, you begging your I, I motherfucking subscribers to buy your I motherfucking this. equipment. But you're trying to be a content creator. Are you trying to afford your own equipment? Girl, bye. Girl, Trey. bye. Thank you, girl, for allowing me to come onto this sh uh, channel to talk to this motherfucking fool. But like I said, unlike I would like to say this directly to you, I, and I, I will own up to my shit. I won't beat around the bush like your fucking ass and like Storm I will say this. Ass. So that's all I gotta Listen. say. This. Bye. Follow me on Simply Trey at my channel. That's all I gotta say. Bye, girl. Bye. Bye, Wiley. Bye. I gotta go cook now for my man because he's hungry. Bye, baby. Bye. No, baby, you hungry. You rush it off that camera, your stomach growling. You better go into that kitchen and cook your own nasty piece of a steak. So again, go ahead and cook and eat. You working out, so I don't know how that's gonna work. You frying chicken or whatever you're making. But if I'm living with three fucking crackheads, baby, I'm looking real good. I'm looking like a whole snack over here. If I'm on crack, I'm looking like I'm looking like a whole snack over here. <laughs> that don't get to be, baby. Lady Nico. What you say, sister? They talking like Lady Nika. Who is Lady Nika? You know who Lady Nika is. Stop playing. Oh, the five dollar box. You know that five dollar box. I got that chopper five dollars. I need that five dollar box. But why are you talking junk about Lady Nika and you want her on your panel? I do commentary. We talk offline. We we do. This is commentary. This is this is just a joke. Five dollar bar. Oh, five dollar bar. You know, and everything like that. So shout out to um Lady Nika and everything. Like she's an awesome talent. I don't have no issues. I just do jokes. That's what I do over here. Just like how he roast and gag and say all that type of stuff. This is comedy, guys. I'm like Omarion. I'm unbothered. And we doing a show to honor Omarion in one hour to honor his legacy and his his what he brought to the table on the Wally show. This is what I do, guys. Ooh. I am unbothered by the roasted and the gag. That don't bother me. Now, Brianna used to bother me in high school and elementary school, and they used to slap me. Boom, you crippled, you dirty. And so that used to bother me. They used to talk about me a lot. I had a good grades. I never forget, Brianna. I had A's all 100%. They saw me walking. I always walk with a limp. And I was walking home to show my mother these good grades I got. I got 100%. The bullies came and they slapped me in the head. And they, all my paper started to fly down the street. And they kicked me and they beat me up. So I've been through all that stuff. I can't even tell you how many times I've been at school and a teacher would be saying, who are you looking at? Are you talking to me? Because, you know, my eyes was crossed. You know, I, I've dealt that a lot. You cocky out of the person. I've done that a whole lot. So I've been I've been through these things in, in elementary school and college, uh, even some part of college I went to. I overcame that. So I can deal with the roasting in the, the gagging. That don't get to me, child. I'm not gonna give somebody say give him Ray Watson Wiley. He's not a, a threat to me. I, I give it to him. Uh, I got bigger that. YouTube. I know so he's I'm already being my bigger YouTube and bitch, subscriber. I, I thank you for the full free promotion you did on your show last night, bitch. You addressed me as motherfucking Teletubby, but unlike you, I'm going to say your whole motherfucking name. It ain't even your real name, bitch. Your real name ain't Storm. It should be Miss Stormy because you act like a bitch, okay? You want to come down on me and my motherfucking community because we live in our truth? Bitch, you're taking dick up the ass. You got the cheeks spread, bitch. You got that cool. back arch every His motherfucking man. night. Okay? You got your back arch every night. Bitch, unlike you, I will say your name, Storm motherfucking Monroe, a.k.a. Miss motherfucking Stormy. Bitch, I'll be Teletubby mixed with E.J. Johnson all motherfucking day, bitch. But unlike you, I'm not asking nobody to put me on, bitch, because this is not my only source of income. Just like you, I'm very educated. I have a degree that I'm paying student loans on right now. I can pull out my degree right now, bitch. We're on the same motherfucking level, okay? For your dumb ass to move to Atlanta, Georgia, to try to come up and Tosh behind Tasha K. And now you're struggling, bitch, struggling oh. to pay your motherfucking bills. You're struggling. You gonna you quit your full-time job to go part-time for YouTube, bitch. Let me tell you something, motherfucker. You got people on YouTube who has over a hundred thousand subscribers and they're still working full time because bitch, unless you got a couple hundred thousand or more, you're not getting that your coins are not that good, baby boy. So you look dumb as hell. But unlike you, I can say your name. You lucky I don't say your government name because I'm not petty like that. But Miss Stormy, I thank you for the full free promotion, bitch. I'm a roast and gag your motherfucking ass tomorrow on my motherfucking channel, simply trade bitch. Cause you want to come at my motherfucking community. And I don't even like Armand Wiggins after the fucked up shit he didn't did to me. 
But bitch, you constantly coming at people at their sexuality when you want to taste the rainbow, bitch. You want to taste the rainbow. You want to eat the Skittles off the rainbow, bitch. Well, I like, I would like to say this. First and foremost, Storm and Roll. You know, no, 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 Bye, Wiley. Okay, Bye. go for it. Go make me a Don't make me a pot roll. Let me tell you something. Go make him a pot you do 10 years on YouTube slash Facebook and you only got 7,000 subscribers, something is wrong. You've been in so many motherfucking beefs with people. You would be, you would think you would have at least over 100,000. Bitch, you've been on YouTube for uh, 10 plus years, got into it with everybody, you only had 7,000. Doing videos off your motherfucking phone, bitch. Looking a hot ass mess. You had to beg your motherfucking subscribers to buy you a laptop and now you begging them to buy you lights. Bitch, don't you got a job? Get your ass off the motherfucking camera and go get a motherfucking job so that you can get out the motherfucking projects so that you can buy your own equipment and so that you can get your life together. Let me tell you something. You need help. You need Are you going to therapy? Are you going to therapy, my brother? You try to act you. I got a mental illness, baby, which ain't the case. If I did, I'll be proud and I will get help unlike your fake ass being a fake motherfucking sponsor for mental illness, bitch, and you ain't even taking your own medication, boo-boo. Let me tell you something. You got me fucked all the way up. Now, I was trying to give your little raggedy ass respect, and I thanked you last night for allowing me to come on your platform, even though you was motherfucking shady. But, bitch, I know you put my fucking number out, bitch. I know for a fact you did. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. It got changed, because when you got the coins to do that, baby, it can be changed, boo-boo. That's all I got to say. Well, here's your mom. Here's my motherfucking ass. And so the rest of the motherfuckers got something to say, Kiss my ass. I don't care. I'm gonna roast both of y'all bitches tomorrow on my well, channel. Not to be rude. Trey, I don't want to be rude, but changing your number is free. Hi, baby. Changing your number is free. Oh no, I had to pay $25, boo boom. With Damn, who are you with? Because I'm with Verizon. I'm with the highest carrier, Verizon. Oh, AT &T girl. For Verizon free. is high. I should have stayed with ATT, girl. I should have stayed with ATT. Verizon is eating my ass up. But when you got a job working Monday through Friday, nine to five, bitch, with good motherfucking benefits, unlike Wiley broke ass, you can do that. You don't have to live in no one bedroom shack with three fucking crackheads. You don't got to do videos on your motherfucking phone without the motherfucking right equipment. Got your motherfucking vertical lines between, motherfucker. Keep on begging your subscribers. I know you're going to be talking about me on your channel, and I'm going to thank you for the full free promotion, bitch. Keep on sending people my motherfucking way. I'm going to roast and gag your ass tomorrow, for real. Well, this is hey, the thing, hey, uh, hey, Brianna. Hey. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to be talking about you, Dre. We're talking about, we got a show schedule to talk about. But you just said, boo boo, you got me using me for content. So now, see, this is how your mental you. illness works. 40, you 45, 45 minutes, we're going to be talking about uh, Omar, yeah. Check Go right in here. See again, Trey. You Girl, give me bye, bye. Okay, go ahead, Trey. Dollar Tree okay, go ahead. Bye. You need to blow your motherfucking nose. All right. Snot, I understand. I understand and understand when a person get bullied from a child and they grow up to be that, that's the call for it. So he think he have to go with the roast of the guy. It's an underlining issue. I understand. I get it. And we're going to pray for the brother. He have a successful workout. And so maybe one day he can get to a size that he can appreciate himself and love him. But I also like to say this, no matter your size, no matter you're small, no matter you're big, you are blessed. You are important. I'm fluffy myself. Ooh, Riley, I just thought of something. I'm sorry to cut you off. Now, I have to ask this, and this is messy, but... Go ahead, baby. Ask it to me. On your show, you said that you and QB slept together. Mm -hmm. Is that true or false? I'm not going to answer that because I will wait for Jay Wilson tonight. Okay. I will answer our history, but I will answer this. I do know um, my dear brother, QB of the Midwest. We go way back. Okay. But y'all not even close to age. Who, me and QB in the Midwest? Yeah, I thought he was like er, older. Like, like ain't he not 30? 
Mm-mm. We we go back. I don't know how old you, but we go back way back. But I'm talking about like 2011, 2012. We go back. Oh, okay. To, okay. I was out there, you know, in the um, gay scene in Chicago. So um, definitely, we was we was Shay. We would say that T for Jay Wilson night, not for El Teddy. I'm going for the one that's the owner and operator, Jay Wilson. I'm going. I'm waiting on his night. To pull out all stops. Do you know Jay Wilson? See, I felt like this, and I'm just gonna be honest. I felt like when it was a challenge, even if it was El Teddy night, Jay Wilson should have said, since he want to challenge it, let me go ahead and make it on. Let's let me make this my night, just to get it on out the way. Because that's hey, she that's he, he, he wasn't gonna do that. So they see see what they did. We gonna change the scale, baby. But well, let's make a thirty minutes. So they they change the scale. We just waiting on Jay Wilson night. We just waiting on his night. So we're going to pull out all this. They don't know what I'm going to do for the next night. And just know it's going to be, it's the two men and a lady panel. Two so, so, two so that wasn't like your permanent panel that was just that night? Or was that the permanent panel? No. It's two men and a lady panel. It's um whatever we decide. Uh, we want it's multiple things. We're going by what the people want, we're going by what the panelists want. It's just multiple. We are still like in negotiations of where we're going to take this show on a weekly basis. Because unfortunately, on my show, people don't have to beg and go to the food pantry and get a five dollar box and all those type of things. Now you're not gonna be shady. No. Uh, okay, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm just joking, but they get paid for their service or what they do, and so we work together. And and and, and again, well, see, this, well, let me say this. Let me say this. I can under. Well, we could have a debate. It's fine. We could have a debate. We could. Def, we, we, I love we, it. Yeah, we could definitely have a debate. I feel as though this. If you're starting something from the beginning where it's organic and no one else is getting anything out of the pot, then you shouldn't be asking for anything either. Now, if other people was getting money out of the pot, then and you was not getting anything, then no. But if we have sat down together and had a conversation and we have all decided what it is, then there should be no take backs after we have decided what it is. That's my personal opinion. I, I agree. So, so it's just commentary, and I, that's just whole what it was. And, and and my brother Jay, he said something. Baby, you should have to pay for talent. I, you shouldn't have to pay for talent. You shouldn't have to pay for panelists. Like, that don't make sense. You should invest in your product, sir. You should. Yeah, I agree. You should. Why not? invest in your product why not so when people criticize go ahead and just keep the name ringing two men and a lady why do you keep saying lady like that because that's how i love i just love someone i say lady panel yeah i can't wait i'm just excited brian i'm just all excited because what oh, we I, do I, I, it's 50 I, at first i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be honest i was like they, they, they're paying them 50 dollars Oh God, Trey back. Go ahead, Trey. Awesome. Your little panel show with you and Miss Stormy and Seven. First of all, I gave you and Seven props because I was actually happy for y'all. But you should call it two fags and a queen because you and Storm are both openly, y'all should be open and proud about your sexuality and try to hide in it because you're doing a danger to our community. You're fucking men in the ass. Storm is fucking men in the ass. Be out and proud. Quit trying to lie to the public because you know you're getting it in with a man. You're not getting it in with no woman because don't no woman won't no, don't no real woman won't no man who has sucked dick and took it up the asshole, okay? So your little panel show, we're going to call your panel show Two Fags and a Queen. Seven stars, you're the queen, and you're working with two punk-ass, bitch-ass niggas who can't live in their motherfucking truth. That's what we're going to call your little panel show, okay? Bye-bye. Well, what do you- well first of all, I can't respond to that. We're going to keep that going. So, so hey, I can't respond to that, what he's trying to say. Um, 
So, uh, so other consecrated taxes may be included. Yeah, you still pay out of your pocket money grab. So we we just have a good old time and we invest back into the product. So that's what we do. And this panel show it was a success for the first week for people to be talking about two men and a lady. The gentleman's panel been going on for months. It's boring. I agree. It is boring though. Huh? It's, it's boring. The gentleman's panel is boring. And so we saw a sector of it. They changed up their whole formula and they talked about when uh, they talked about the Netflix movie. We get it. Y'all change our formula up. Y'all trying to think outside the box. Well, go ahead. You well, no, but no, no, no. I don't believe that they, that they changed their formula. It, each person has their own different topics of what they would want to watch. So I feel, uh, I mean, uh, what they want to talk about on the panel. So, you know, El Teddy is the more educated one. So, El Teddy, El Teddy is educated. He's a teacher. So El Teddy, El Teddy is very into, you know, that type of stuff. So he wanted to have an intellectual conversation. Now there is some people on the panel who are not intellectual. I won't throw shade, but so Trey, this is going to be your last time, honey. Jesus. Awesome. Yes, the gentleman's panel is boring, but Wiley, your show is also boring. That's why you tried to create it to compete with Jay Wilson. But let me tell you something. Unlike you, Jay Wilson has class. Unlike you and Miss Stormy, Jay Wilson has class. And let me tell y'all something. I'm not bullying Wiley or Storm because I'm an openly gay black man who has faced oppression, okay? I have to fight to get to where I am today, which was a very hard fight. So let's be very clear. I'm not gay bashing anyone. I think people should live in their truth, be proud of who you are. But when you got motherfuckers like Wiley and motherfuckers like Storm who have platforms on YouTube and want to pretend like they're other, you know, they want to down the LGBTQ community and they want to pretend like they're not a part of it. We all know you're taking it in the motherfucking ass. Wiley's the top. Wiley say he is the top. Oh, he's the top? Yeah. Mm. Um, well, you know what? You know what? Let me tell you something. Um, you said true. Hold on, wait. Let me tell you something, Brianna. Is it true? God yeah. bless the man fine. that's taking Wiley's dick. God bless the man who's taking it. I don't believe Wiley's the top. I think he's a bottom. I do. He's a six foot two. He's a six foot two bottom. You know, there's plenty of them. I'm gonna stay on this panel for another few minutes before I get off for real. Continue your conversation. Can I stay on the phone for a few minutes, Brianna? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't buy. I mute you because you like to talk. Hold on, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Why? This man, oh, no. he take he take it out that. Oh no, but you know what? Wiley, like you said, this is commentary. This is commentary. Ain't no hard feelings because I don't know you from a can of paint. You don't know me. I don't know you. This is commentary. Boo boo. I hate, I don't like you right now, but I might like you in a couple of days. You never know with me. I don't hate why I don't like you right now. I don't like that fuck shit you did. You following behind fake ass motherfuckers for clout. Storm Monroe punk ass for clout. He ain't gonna bring you on. Well, go Wiley. Let me, tell you, let me tell you something like Britney Spears said, I'm not ashamed of the things that I've done. I caught myself. <laughs> Well, I'm not a fan. Okay, like Whitney Houston said, show me the receipts, Wiley. <laughs> show me the receipts. I want to see the receipts of you going on that paper. Okay. Show me the receipts. I've been right now. I've been, I've been um running for Jesus a long time. I'm not tired yet. I'm Put emphasis on running. Exercise. My God, let me tell you something. You talk about you running for Jesus. Let me tell you something. God don't bless no mess, and you're full of mess, honey. You want to quote the Bible? You want to quote the Bible, motherfucker? I also we like quote the Bible. I was raised up in a two parent household, motherfucker, with two Christian parents. Okay, I know that Bible, baby. You don't want to go there with the Bible, but I can give you a couple of scriptures to ease your mind. Ease your mind. You know what? I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You want to bring Jesus up in here? I rebuke you, Satan. I see your horns on top of your head. No wonder you dressed in red because you the devil. I see you. We see each other. I see you. You see me, okay? You must be a motherfucking match. We see each other. 
Where's my drink, DeAndre? Oh, he's outside. Okay, I'm back. My man's outside. He was fixing me a drink, but he's outside talking to his friends. Sir. What did DeAndre look like? Because that better not be my ex over there. Oh, girl. <laughs> Now, let me tell you, Brianna, you know people say I sleep with people's men, but I don't do that no more. I'm saved. I used to be a girl, but I'm a saved hoe. I'm a saved and sanctified hoe. Okay. Let well, me tell you something. If you go what do y'all look like? Riley, Riley, you should have told people on your platform, if you're going to be a hoe, be a smart hoe. Make sure your bills is paid and make sure you got money up in your account, honey. Make sure that man is laying down your security blanket, baby. Be like Portia Williams. Bitch had a baby. Now she's secure for the next 18 years. She was a smart hoe. Even though her man was fucking other women and other animals, she was smart. The bitch got a baby. She got child support checks. Ladies, if you're going to be a hoe, be a smart one. These niggas out here ain't giving a fuck about y'all. Let the gay boy run. Tell you. They be all up in your face, but they try to fuck with your gay friend and behind your back. Let it, mm. I'm done talking. All right, Trey, you muted. Go ahead. Go ahead, Wally. Listen, uh, I'm really here for it. Now, you had asked me a question because Trey have his own issues. It's no use of going back and forth with Trey. When, once he get a, a massive platform and stuff like that, we'll respond to him, but n- I, not at this time. Okay, what I had asked you, Wally, I forgot he done, he done took me. Yes. Yeah. Oh Lord, I know we saw about the message express. What was you talking about? Oh, the film was coming with something, but oh, about them having the it's they were trying to have an intellectual conversation. Yes. And I said some people on there that's not intellectual. Yes. Um, like um QB of the Midwest, unfortunately, he's not into those type of topics. He's into mess. You know, you you can tell people's strong points. Um, Jay Wilson, he's not that intellectual on in certain topics. He's gonna always go back to the church. Do you think that that's weird that he's not into that he that he do do you think Jay Wilson be playing in our face? He because because you cannot have all those degrees and be stupid at the same time. Well, yes, you can. Because you just degrees don't make you smart. It's people with degrees, they're they're idiots. You know what I'm saying? Some people had degrees that don't necessarily make you smart. You just got through. Um, you have people that um, graduate from high school that can't read. So that don't necessarily um, label your intelligence. I have Malcolm X on my wall, and he only had an eighth grade education, and we still honor him to this day because he was self-educated. So it doesn't necessarily de- depend upon what school you go to. Some people got it, some people don't. I never uh, uh, completed a, a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, but unfortunately, that brother Jay Wilson have the multiple degrees, and he's intimidated by me, and he has the degree. I don't, but I know about politics. I know about um I know about entertainment. It's no matter. It's not too much stuff. I can't have a conversation with you. And and Jay Wilson is just that type of person. He don't like it. And this is his weakness. He don't like to be challenged. And that's something where he don't want me on the panel because I will challenge his way of thinking. You know, that's make a good Um, panel. You can challenge their perspective. I'm reading the comments. First of all, my heat, this is a nice three bedroom home that I'm paying a very nice mortgage on. So yes, my heat works, bitches, okay? Number two, I'm not taking off my jacket because I had my workout clothes on because I met my partner on my day off. Let's be very clear. And number three, yes, there are several people who went to college like myself, but who are smart in the books. But let me tell you something, I'm also smart in the motherfucking streets, boo-boo. I am book smart and I'm street smart. Check me if you want some, bitch. I'll show the motherfucking gutter if you want to. Now, I can sit up in a boardroom meeting and be all intellectual. You know, Wiley? And you saying that Jay Wilson don't got common sense. What common sense do you have? You sit on your platform looking at food every goddamn day, and most of the shit that you say are lies. Yes, Jay Wilson is full of shit, too. And I don't know you, Jay Wilson, but if you come for me, bitch, I'm going to come for your motherfucking ass, too. Okay? But like I was saying, yes, he spits Welcome lies. He's Section A sector. He in a Section A sector. We got a new blog in the Section A sector. Oh, no, baby. No, 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 no. I'm not Section A, boo-boo. I don't you do this, Section A. You're in a Section A, a sector. Have. I know they're used to the low-income standard, baby, but that's not where I came from. No offense to Section A people, but you know, I make a little bit too much money to be on Section 8. If you had a job and the education that I had, then maybe you wouldn't be in the Section 8 sector. Maybe you would have the equipment and the lights and you wouldn't be in this sector instead of begging your motherfucking fans to send you super chats so that you can get shit. Trey, I wish I could be on Section 8. Girl, me too. They say I make too much. 
Me too, unfortunately. Go ahead, Wiley. That's a, you a boss bitch. You was a boss bitch, honey. Yeah. Um, so like I said, uh, tonight we'll be honoring Omarion because he's this awesome artist. We do content over- He ain't no damn awesome artist. What the fuck he did? He was in B2K. Then he had maybe one or two singles that hit the charts. His ass ain't do shit. If anything, honor somebody with some real talent. Honor Beyonce. Honor Whitney Houston. Honor Chris Brown. Honor, you know, you know the Jay Z. Honor somebody with some real talent who actually did something in mainstream. Cause Armani, I do not but suck his manager's dick. That's all I gotta say. I'm done. All right. Um, I would like to say well, that Armani was taking part in fucking Raz B. Yes, I said it, allegedly. He sure was. His talent is sucking dick, which is why. April fuck ass went on to Fizz because she knew that Armarion had some sugar in his tank. But April, let me tell your stupid ass something. Fizz got some of his too, boo boo. And it's nothing wrong with being gay, but just don't be down low. Be open. Be open, Wiley. We all know that you are. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. All right, Trey, we want. Yeah, we want. Go, go ahead, Wiley. Go ahead. Right. So, um, yeah. So you had asked me a question about the gentleman's panel and different things like that. Um, you're right. So I have a right to my opinion, stuff like this, and even with Chopper. Um, brother, I, I, you are content creator. So it's not, it's not, it's no hard feelings. You, you are content. You will want people to talk about you. Just like Brianna, when we first started this episode, you said, Wally, I'm going to let you in the chat because it's going to be clicks and views. Um, look what happened. She got her clicks and views because she said, while you use CSCC for clicks and views, I'm going to use you for clicks and views. That's an honor. So folks can use you for clicks and views. You ain't really popping and people ain't not talking about you. That's when you know you the, the, the stuff when people do commentary off of you and not off of Beyonce and Kelly Rowland, they talking about you. You are the stuff you pop it. I agree. Um, so, so basically is so basically this live started off i just want to give a quick rundown because we're about to come to a close so you can go on your channel and do your content again i do want to thank you for you know coming on here now wiley this yeah. gotta be god because let me tell you this last night i was going through my block list mm-hmm. i said let me unblock wiley <laughs> <laughs> so i unblock wiley uh-huh and I said, I'm gonna block the backup page too. <laughs> but I come out, so I go on Lipstick Alley and I get some tea on Lipstick Alley. So I'm like, all right, well, let me let me go talk about the tea. Yeah. Maybe I never thought for a million years you and VT would be in the damn chat. Mm-hmm. And now we end up here. Well, I wanna say thank you for that. Yeah. So, for- um, I do wanna um but basically, we started off. You and ZT was going at it. So, what if ZT really do want to do this fight? What you gonna do? Oh, we could definitely do the fight. I don't run for it, and, and definitely we will have the ticket sales. I'll make a quick coin for a good boxing match. He gonna get knocked out in the first round. That, you know? Oh hell yes, baby! He gonna get knocked out in the first round, baby. Oh, man, he gonna get knocked out. That's gonna be a good profitable thing. So, if he really want to do it, we can do it. I'm not running. For that, that's what we do. We do content. And ZT said he's he's going to pay for it. We will be selling tickets. And we're going to um, sell it for $50. And then we're going to have the first run seat. If you want the first run seat for 500 bucks. If you want to see. Now you're doing too much. 500 bucks. It ain't worth 500 dollars. 500 for the. 500. 500. Shut up to club chat. If y'all want to, you know, come on to club chat. Y'all spending 300 dollars to learn about how to uh, the pink door. Okay. And vac- so is- go ahead and pay four five hundred dollars for this boxing match. I got a good question that I gotta ask you. Okay, mm-hmm. so we let's talk about the battle of the events. Yeah. Right. So, J- so Jay Wilson, no club chat got their event going on. It's three hundred dollars. Um, you get basically they have a whole itinerary lined up, but you go to um Las Vegas, right? Yeah. But you still gotta buy your own um flight and you pay for your own room. Basically, the three hundred dollars is for basically the events that happen there. Yeah. Now, Jay Wilson's event is San Antonio. It's Labor Day weekend, and it's forty dollars. Mm-hmm. Well, it was forty dollars last week. Um, it was forty dollars last week, 
and um, it was forty dollars last week. I mean, last year. Well, this year, next year, right? For now, he just put the tickets on sale. The ticket is seventy five dollars mm-hmm. to come to San Antonio. Now that's until December to January. Starting in January, they then go up to one twenty five. What is your opinion on the events? Okay, so um, this thing, they're pocketing the money. They want to profit. Um, for my meet and greet, for all of the producers from around the country is going to come, you just have to pay for your flight, your hotel, bring some money so we can go to different restaurants, go to a comedy show, go to karaoke. We're just going to have fun. I'm not leaving away with a profit. The only thing that maybe we'll put money together, we do it like some type, probably like a party bus or something, Brianna. But what they're doing, they're trying to walk away with a profit. And my dear brother, um, when Jay Wilson had his event the first time, Five Babe did not get paid. When I spoke up and say, "Why are you paying King Jives and you're not going to pay Five Babe?" Then Five Babe he started to pay Five Babe once he once I called him out. They're trying to get a profit from these events. But my thing, I asked the subscribers that's going to go. Simple question: Where is your money going to go when they're asking for all of this? If you're paying for Club Chat to stay in a timeshare. Why are you paying all of them hundreds of dollars when the timeshare is already paid a, a timeshare? So with what Jay Wilson doing, you're paying for your flight, your hotel, and you got to pay for a speed. The last time they did that, they were getting some catfish. <sighs> you know, they were getting a catfish on some paper plates. So where is the money going to go? Last time they had all that much, King Jive was speaking in, in, in Jay Wilson living room. So um, at the end of the day, I'm not trying to do this, Brianna, for my event for a profit. You just want to have fun and meet Wiley. I'm not trying to do you out of your coins. I'm doing this so it can have fun around Dallas. What they're doing, they're trying to get a profit. But I asked my dear brother, um, um, brother Jay Wilson, stop letting Vivian do all the talking. That's your event. Because if something go wrong with the money, the first person you're going to blame is Vivian. So what is that to do with San Antonio that he won $125? Absolutely nothing. It's nothing like that to spend $120 unless y'all going to have a venue, a stage, and dancers in this. But in this sector, that we're, you're not in a, in my humble opinion, to do that in this sector. You understand what I'm saying? This ain't that type of sector. It's mostly like this. Let's keep it real. An intimate type of thing. We meet up. Mm-hmm. Intimate. This type of sector is not like because half of the people are not going to be that trusty to be all taking pictures and videos because of the doxing. Mm-hmm. So, again, I personally believe, especially with Sean Bradley, he is just in a whole nother level. He saw a three, four, one, you know, he's on a whole nother. Then he got a comedy album coming out. So he's in a whole nother thing when it comes to money. And it's a money game. Again, the Wiley Show, our meet and greet, you pay for your flight. Pay for your hotel, bring some money. We might do a party bus. You possibly you might even see me on the stage doing stand-up comedy on an open mic night. So whatever it is, we're going to be entertained. And I'm not broadcasting money. I'm not broadcasting uh, to buy this because I'm not trying to leave the meet and greet with a profit. Because if somebody traveled to the country and uh, Trump out of the country or whatever to come to Dallas and meet up with me, that's an honor. We're going to make sure we have a good time. That's what we're going to do over here. Okay. So, so with that being said, just taking your biasness out of it, which would you rather spend the four hundred dollars to go to Las Vegas or the one twenty five to go sit in Jay Wilson living room? I would rather spend the four hundred dollars in Vegas because if it's a flop with you know Sean Bradley, because if I would go to Sean Bradley event, he got some kind of thick, you know, especially D Ramsey, because she said let's go into biz. She got the coin, so I'd be most definitely try to talk to my good sister D Rams and get up in there so I get that purse. You know what I'm saying? Give us some of this good thing. So I'll be going that getting it in, and then you can go gamble, you can go drink. San Antonio is not that like that like that. That Vegas is totally different, so I can understand it. You can go gamble, but I'm not gonna pay four hundred dollars. For just Sean Bradley, I'm gonna keep a couple of hundred dollars so I can go gamble, so I can drink. I might meet a subscriber. She might be thick, might be smelling good. We meet up in a hotel. We might get it in. I'm spending that money so I can have fun throughout the event. So, but spending that towards them, unless they're having a stage, a venue, and all that type of thing, no way. Like, I'm why am I spending that much money if they ain't gonna be on no stage and no venue and no concert and no type of artist coming? You know what I mean? Like, where your money going? 
that's that's true. I agree. <laughs> like well, that's not, not coming to your event. Huh? Why Rico not coming? Well, um, well, first of all, um, Rico and I, he's not coming to the event because what we're trying to do, we just don't want an unnecessary drama. If you're going to behave, you can come. But with the drama stuff, that's why I said we not having that type of thing. People don't want to come and you have all that drama. We, we're not dealing with that drama, especially in person. I'm totally different in person. I'm not the same like I am on camera. Um, but we're not having that that drama. We're not. And it's another thing, too, you guys. And I'm going to say this. I know it's going to hurt a lot of content creators. We're not live streaming our meeting greets. You know why? Because, Brianna, if you travel from Alabama to come to Las Vegas and I'm live streaming to free subscribers mm -hmm. that did not come to Vegas, when you feel some type of way when you pay 400 bucks to see Sean Bradley and Sean Bradley is entertaining his audience or you went to Jay Wilson, he well, paid $400 to see nobody on YouTube. Um, but secondly, I do feel like that's that's more intimate with not having it televised. Because like I like the way y'all did it in DC. Like y'all had times that were because it was content creators there, but then y'all had times that was behind the scenes. So I do like it both ways. It seemed more organic with DC Gate than with Labor Day. It just seemed like oh yeah, D Brianna, DC Gate was off of the chain. Finger in my booty, a drink thrown in my face. Big booty all up in my face, getting rad by Juicy J moderator. And wait, wait, you had sex with Deshaun? Yeah, we we no, we just we just have fun. We you know foreplay. We kissed around, played around. We was gonna get it in, in, but of course, um, 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 what's the name broke in? I mean, Rico busting the door. So wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. So okay, because I need you to run me through this, right? Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna let Trey on. He gonna say, but but I need you to run this. Through. I need to. I need you to run. Oh, yeah, cause I do because I because I, I have to go. I'm gonna go live in a few minutes. Yeah, so. Okay. So, um, give me five. I need you to run this last part through with me. And okay. Then, and then I'm gonna let Trey say we got your okay. 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 So listen. So, so you and Rico was in the shower, right? Yeah, we were in the shower. Y'all got out the shower. Mm -hmm. And some kind of way, you and Deshaun ended up in the bed? Um, No, that was another day when me and Rico was in the shower. No, what happened was once we left the club, it was me, Deshaun. Y'all saw that video of me and that lady dancing in the club. Mm -hmm. So I went on. I took a shower. I had a towel on because, you know, I'm, I'm laid back. You know what I'm saying? I'm back in my domain. I'm like, at home. I take my clothes off and I put on a towel. You know, we around... And so what um, Rico friend wanted to do, he really wanted this big orgy, but me and Deshaun did not want to do it with Lucrament, you know? So we well, started... I know the Lucrament, but you, Deshaun, and Rico could have had a threesome. No, necessarily no, because Deshaun wasn't in that. But the thing was, me and Rico could have got it in and Deshaun would have left. But once Rico was connecting with Lucrament, and they were getting it, you know what I'm saying, getting it in, um, me and Deshaun started to connect intellectually. And, you know, I really started to feel Deshaun, you know what I'm saying, chocolate, big teddy bear, and we started to get it in. We, we started to get it in, and I have it on the recording when uh, Rico kicked him out and stuff like that. We told the story constantly, and that's what it was. So can I have a question? Yeah. Did, have you seen Deshaun's P? This 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 seen the song being yeah I seen it. Is it big? It's all right. Okay. It's all right. He's an amazing kisser though. So you and Deshaun have kissed? Oh yes. He's Tom an amazing kiss. kisser. Tom kiss? Oh absolutely. It wasn't just baby. When I say kiss, I ain't talking about no. I'm talking about kiss. Uh, okay. you know. Y'all was rubbing on each other. Mm -hmm, we did all that. So how did Rico come in the room? Because the Airbnb is a room and it's a living room. And so he saw that we were in there and we're not out there with them because he was getting his box ate by Lucreman. And he started to notice that I wasn't out there. And he busted in and he saw us. He saw Deshaun on top of me. So, but Lucreman put the finger in your butt, right? Yeah, Luke I mean, did. That was before I got into the room. Wait, how did that happen? Wait, hold on. Why was y'all naked in front of each other? Well, this is the thing with me. 
Once I'm in a private, that was me and Rico, um, Airbnb. It was late at night. I just took a shower. I put on a towel. I'm ready to lay down, know what's going on. So I was going to go and I went in the room, not in the living room. So I'm in there sitting down. The thing is, before I did that, Luca been put the finger up and I said, no, I ain't interested. I ain't cool. And I said, no, I'm not. I'm not interested in that. You know, I'm not a bottom. I'm not going to do that. So I get into the room. Deshaun came into the room and we start talking and blah, blah, blah. One thing led to another. We really wanted to get it in. But that, that still don't explain how a finger get up your butt. Why? Oh, yeah. When the towel was on, when Luca saw me in the living room before I got to the room, he, he stuck his finger in there because he thought I was a bottom. Oh, the towel. Like, he did it through the towel. Yeah, he you have on a towel. You know you can lift up a towel, Brianna. You know what I'm saying? No, but I'm saying hot. My thing is you just not going to sit there and let somebody lift up your towel. But you got to understand, at that, I was drunk. I wasn't sober. Like, that, Brianna, like, I got liquored up that night that night when i went to the club i wasn't no sober wiley and he did and i'm like no nah. and i saw and i saw and i noticed what he was doing and i said i'm not you know i, I ain't like that so i had went on to the room and me and deshaun started talking so who so deshaun rolled you though right that was the big bubble booty no Deshaun. we didn't have um sex no penetration you said somebody with a big bubble booty was on top of you oh yeah that that was that was somebody that I had in my past or somebody that's that's not no YouTube content creator. Oh, but that happened in DC though, right? No, no, no I'm talking about that's that's happened somewhere in Dallas, something like that's not then it happened in DC. Only thing All right. was the shine, and okay. of course, you know, Rico before the shine. So Rico not cool with the shine because of this, or are they cool? No, they, they they're cool. Um they they're cool now. Um, but at during that time, he Rico was upset and he was more so up, upset at me because I wasn't into um Rico like that. You know what I mean? Because I, I felt that it was forced, um, that it was, you know, we're gonna do it, we're gonna and I and I don't work like that, Brianna. I'm a an intellectual. I just can't, I gotta feel your vibe. You know what I mean? I just can't, you know, in that regard, I just couldn't you felt you felt the Sean's vibe. I felt his vibe because he connected with me on a conscious level. Like the things we were talking about books, we were just talking about that. We was just, we were just talking about things, man. And just a beautiful brother. So you could see yourself actually like as a person, you could see yourself with Deshaun more than you could Rico. Oh, absolutely. Because Deshaun is an intellectual. Clearly you could judge my wall. I'm an intellectual. I love to talk about different things other than sex. You know what I mean? That's going to automatically happen. Let me see where your other mind is at. So did y'all have any conversations out b behind that? Like, y'all have y'all talk? Yeah. Um, like, out there, D.C.? No, like, since y'all been back. Like. Um, no, we, we, he came into my chat from time to time. But have we talked privately? No. Oh. So he not going to sue you? No, that was just talk for YouTube. He he wasn't gonna sue or anything like that. He came in the chat from time to time. But even during that weekend, once Luke all that situation, the next day, um, VS invited me. That was a lad. That was some time for me to go. Of course, she came and picked me up. And Rico dropped Rico at home. We head to the hotel. I called before we got to the hotel. It was me and VS in a, in a in a car. I said, "Let's call. Let me call um Deshaun to see if he want to come." He, she, she said, okay, that's fine. Deshaun can come with us. I don't mind, you know, chilling with him. So we called Deshaun. He came and we had dinner. It was me, QI, Critical Thinking. Well, it was lunch because it was not night. It was me, QI, Critical Thinking, and VS. And um, Deshaun. We were eating. We just having a conversation. And when we did the video, when I was in the water, when we went to the lake, Deshaun was holding the camera. Okay. So, um, Allegedly, yeah, everything is alleged. Um, all right, well, <laughs> yeah, that's what happened in DC, so that was way better than damn. We still talking about DC today. That was a legendary trip, I think. For this year, I think DC Gate. Oh, somebody want to know why was Deshaun saying mean things with you, mean things about you after DC? Oh, that's easy because you get back with the in crowd. You get back with Jay Wilson. You get back with your people. So you have to save face. You guys, this is not this is not new. 
uh, many people uh, will have sex with you, in my experience. And then when they get around, they in crowd with their friends. Oh, they act differently. That I, I still deal with that as an adult in some instance because people they they rather take on the in crowd than to be by themselves. You know what I mean? I I I learn how to stand by my own on my own. Yeah, I, have yeah. I have a question for you, and mm -hmm. I, I think it's gonna like this is so. Basically, Deshaun would be with you in private, right? But he wouldn't want to be with you in public. But then you had Rico, who was willing to be with you in private, public, everything. He didn't care. So why did you really, like, throw Rico, Rico to the wind? Like, you really did kind of do Rico bad. Well, like I said, I made mistakes with it um, and, and, and in an instance. But I will say this. Um, I, I've noticed with the Rico situation that people can really fall for you. People really can fall in love with you. Mm -hmm. People, I thought he was joking. You know what, Brianna? I didn't think he was real. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that he really liked me. But once I got to DC and I saw that he he said he he really, really liked me. And I I had to let him know on on a serious level, you know what I'm saying? Like you cool, but you know what I'm saying? We not like on that level. You know what I mean? Okay, so you let him know. So you let him know in DC that, that you didn't like him like that. I let I let him know like once we once I got back to Dallas. Oh, so you ain't let him know that in DC though? No, because he he was in he was in um he was in a different headspace. Like he was in a different headspace. It, it wasn't the time to let him know that. It would have been a good time, no. but you no, know, but you know, but you do know that would make somebody feel used though. Absolutely, and again. That was a situation that happened and some mistakes was made. But at the end of the day, um, he have gotten a platform from that and um, people have cashed out because of that and, and, and been a blessing towards him. And now we we know that brother name now. Right. But no, Rico, Rico is not mentally prepared to be on YouTube. Rico was showing his penis two weeks ago on YouTube. Did yeah, you know that? I, I didn't know that. And also too, Rico. Um, he, um, someone passed away in his family. Oh, okay. So, so Rico is, you know, going through. So make sure y'all pray for him. Um, he, he really going through it. So at the same time, I still, I, I respect him as a friend, you know, Brianna, because at the end of the day, he is a friend because he stays so consistent and I just fell on him on the friend level. Mm -hmm. On a friend level, I fell for him on the on a friend level, and so he's just a cool person. It's just for romantically, no, we just not on that same you know same level. All right, so I'm gonna let just because you got something to do, I guess Trey got something else he want to say with you, say to you, and then we'll end it. And I'll let you say your final words, and then we'll end it. Okay. All right. There you go, Trey. Wiley. I don't have any personal issues with you. However, I have to come onto this live and check you because you be doing some fucked up shit. I came onto your show last night. I gave you your props, you know, even though you've been on YouTube and Facebook for 10 plus years and you're still in the lowest level of being on YouTube, you know, you're still using your phone. You're still recording in front of your raggedy ass bed that doesn't even have the motherfucking attachments to it. You are pathetic. You're a liar. You know what? You struggle with multiple personality disorder. That's what you are. I think that you're schizophrenic because you know what? Let me tell you something, Brianna. You don't want to trust Wiley. Wiley is that person who will smile in your face and they'll stab you, not in your back, but in your fucking chest. You're a snake. Anybody who's watching Wiley, anybody that supports Wiley, you're crazy. You are crazy. Anyone who tries to tell Wiley your business, this motherfucker will come on YouTube and he will blast you. He's he's all block nobody in your check. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, he is a person that will blast you for clicks and views. Wally doesn't have loyalty to no one but himself, and I feel sorry for you. You know, and I'm going to pray for you because you need it because you have a lot of demons. I see the demon all in you. I see it. You have the horns on top of your head. You're demonic. But then you want to go on your platform and talk about mental illness and spirituality, but you don't even follow your own advice. I feel sorry for you. You need to find Jesus. You need to open up your heart and get the demons out because you're possessed. You're demonically possessed. You and Storm Monroe and Armand Wiggins, you're possessed. 
I'm going to pray to the Lord to get these demons out of these people. They need help, God. Please release the demons out of them, God. God, I give you, I give you all of me, God. Please, please, please help Wiley. Wiley, do you have money? Do you have insurance for a therapy session? Because I will help you. I will help you find it. You know, I will help you find a therapist who can get you on the right medication because you spent five hours on this lies, on this live fabricating all types of lies that came out of your fucking head because you're crazy. You need help. You need to be in a mental facility for at least 90 to 90 days, a 90 day hold. That's what you need. I'm going to pray for you, my brother. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to ask God to remove those demons out of you, but don't fuck with me again. You understand me? Don't fuck with me because you got the right motherfucking one. I'm not no punk ass bitch like Storm Monroe or Armand motherfucking Wiggins. If I got something to say, I'm going to say it directly on my motherfucking channel, Simply Trey, and I'm going to pick your name up in the motherfucking shit, motherfucker. But Brianna, I want to thank you so much for inviting me onto your panel. I have to get off now because I have to go and cook because my significant other is very upset. You know, he does help pay half of my bills, even though I don't need him to. But you know, I have to go. But Wiley, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. And I'll be looking out for the videos. I know you'll spread some lines about me, bitch. But you don't know me, boo-boo. You don't know me, but I know you. I see you for what you are. You're the snake in the motherfucking grass. You're licking up Storm's nasty, shitty-ass booty hole to get motherfucking clout. You keep on talking about Armand, crackhead ass. And he ain't even a fucking celebrity, bitch. He's a YouTuber like you and I. Bitch, get a life. Talk about real motherfucking content, bitch. Talk about celebrities. Talk about politicians. Talk about spirituality. Quit talking about motherfuckers who don't give a fuck about you. Armand ain't worried about your motherfucking ass. You a stalker. You wanted his dick, but he didn't want to give it to you. And you're obsessed with him. And I need to ask God to take out these demons out of this man because he needs help. You need help. Jesus, Lord have mercy. I ask of you to help this man. All right. Thank you, Thank you guys. You. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Right. All right, Wiley. Uh, so, do you have any final words that you want to say? I, I really do. Uh, mental illness is real, and some people have not been diagnosed yet. So, if you have not, you little manic, just please go call the National Suicide um, Hotline. And if you need any assistance, if you can't find the number, you can just call your local um, call 911 to get some assistance and you will get some mental help. And so some people need it. Some people is undiagnosed. I'm no therapist. So we know how it is. We we clearly see what that brother is going through. And I have nothing against that brother. I just think that it's on a deeper level. That's why I can't sit and roast and gather because he's not considered a content creator. If that makes sense. So his his whole thing is he going to say it. So you just, you just have to just let him talk. Let him vent. He's going to repeat himself. And I just really Wait, Amar, Amar, Amar in the chat. <laughs> is that Amar in the chat? Oh, Amar Wiggins in the chat. Oh, yeah, I gotta <laughs> pay for this. I think we need to send it. Yeah, Amar Wiggins, you created this. Amar Wiggins, you brought this man to YouTube, and you're gonna say this is the section eight sector. You created this person, you allowed Trey to get up on this platform to say all these things about. Tasha K to say all these things about her family. You created this person, brother. You allow him on your platform to give all these receipts. You are highly intoxicated, shaking your butt and doing all just shaking your behind. And you let this brother come on this platform and say it. And then you say it, brother Amal Wiggins, quote, that you have a receipt to confirm those allegations of truth. You still haven't even brought those allegations up. Number, and I definitely want to do it again. And this is very seriously. When you went to Wendy Williams' show, you were all the way in the back. You can clearly see the wall. Again, sir, you're not that type of celebrity that you say that you are. It's not even even if it's not the real mind because he's actually watching. It just dropped in my. I just I just it just dropped in my spirit since the name is up in a, a mob because so I just had to say that just like you said no. Wendy Williams said no. And breaking news, Tasha K and T.S. Madison, the people that you don't like, will be sitting next to Nicki Minaj and not all the way in the back in the audience of Wendy Williams. In my closing remarks, thank you so much for coming. Uh, I thought this was my show, this is Brianna's show. Let me change it. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you so much, Priyada, for um, giving me the platform, give, offer me a voice. I really believe that this is a, a beautiful five-hour live. It was so much off this live, sister. You keep going. It is your time. You broke the story about Jay Wilson when the Jack app came off. You broke that story. I don't know if you remember that. When you yeah, broke that story. And I was okay. And you said, why do we broke the, and you broke the story? So I just want you to see it is money at the table for everybody. It is money at the table. For everybody can make it on YouTube. If you want to put in the work, you can make it. Well, I definitely want to thank you for coming over here and giving me the exclusive Wiley. You you said, Wiley, when you came on that line and you went to cussing, Wiley said, I'm giving you one more chance. She want the exclusive or not. I said, drop the lead. <laughs> <laughs> and I gave you the excuse because I wanted people to understand Ray Washington, uh, Ray <laughs> Washington Wally is a new character that we came up with. And we let Nicole Tyler get the exclusive to post it on her channel. And for those that want the full clip, it is on our Patreon. It's multiple characters. We got, we, we got Fat Leisha coming. We got, um, we got so many characters that, I, that be in my head. And that I put on paper. You understand what I'm saying? And we do this. We got Marquita across our diva. It's just so many creative ways, Brianna, that we have in fun over here. And I like coming to your channel because you are the stuff. That you are beautiful. You have amazing content. I like it when you do the celebrity gossip. When you do the reviews, I live for it. I watch it. And Brianna, keep going. I know it get discouraging because you want the big numbers. Whether it's three people in the, in the chat, ten people. You keep going, sister, because the numbers, the audience will come. I've been doing this for 10 years. Didn't have a name. I mean, I had a name, but I didn't have an audience. Now I can say in 11, 17, 2019, I have an audience. It's not like a mass compared to somebody else, but I have one. I thank God for that. Well, yeah, I, I just want to say this. Um, I I mean, I feel like people, when they find me, they'll come. Then I'm like, that. A laugh, they'll kiki. But um, I mean, I just want people around me who actually want to be here, you know. But I mean, people naturally see that, you know, like yeah, I'm messy, yeah, I'm petty. Uh -huh. But you have to like, but you really have to make me go there. I feel like I be I'm very fair in everything that I do. Yeah. But yeah. And it's great because you just an awesome person. Listen, I'm not even gonna try to be I will I open my show up to anybody who ever wanna come and be on the panel. Whoever want to come and work with Wiley, I, if you're talented, I would work with you. You know what I'm saying? I don't close the door and I will continue to have conversations with Brianna and, and, and whenever. I know I'm not going to be allowed to keep coming to your chat. I get it. But I will always give you a click and a view. Always. And I will donate to your cash app because you donated to me, Brianna. You did. You did. Yeah, I did. You know, you did. And I and I remember that. And so we have to help content creators. We have to. And so anytime what people are doing in the chat, I see my name being mentioned. It don't get to me, guys. You could call them. You could talk about anything. Just as long as you don't use profanity in my chat. Talk about my eye. Talk about my nose. I don't care. It's your job to talk. That's what you're supposed to do. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's why I said like I never, I don't never really get mad like if people say something about me. People don't, people drag me. I don't really care. It's yeah, whatever. it is good because the more they drag you, the more coins gonna be in your pocket. They like the, my ass, Brianna song. That is a bop. Like uh -huh. a bitch. The bitch able say that shit so motherfucking funny. I think I'm gonna close out the show playing that. Yeah. Let me bring it up. Thank you. But while wow, you gotta go do your show. Thank you so much, Brianna. Got to go. Thank you. Let me go change. I got on this struggle shirt. <laughs> All right. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, <clears throat> right y'all. So we got 505 people in the chat. Um, Wiley, I still see you, Wiley. You ain't gone, Wiley. <laughs> Wiley was about to get naked, y'all. <laughs> Wiley, <was, laughs> Wiley was about to get naked. <laughs> Oh, you got to get naked, you, <laughs> baby. You was about to see soft that <laughs> cause I sure like got on no clothes, no pants, and no <laughs> underwear, <laughs> baby. I was about to stand up 
<laughs> it was about to be a bye bye and an exclusive. Brianna, you saved me. Let me hold on. Let me let me play with it for a little bit. Let me play with it. I want it to be long, just in case I do stand up. <laughs> Man, it's all soft too. Wake up, wake up now. Wake up. We on camera. Man, y'all just saw that little soft shriveled up feed because it ain't on hard yet. <laughs> See, so <laughs> man, please, I'm about to stand on. Uh, I'm so glad you warned me about that, baby. They was about to get a whole exclusive. No, only I could see you. Only I could see you. They couldn't see you. You was in the background. Oh, I, okay. shirt, I said, wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brianna, you was about to get a show. You was about to, <laughs> you, you Jesus. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, y'all. Thank you, you Brianna. Bob, you gotta hit where it say leave studio. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, right. Right. <laughs> Child, Wally had to hit Wally had to hit that X, baby. I said, Wally, don't no wait. <laughs> Wally was about to get naked, y'all. Wally, like, Wally was about to show me how he really feel. But it's 495 people in the chat. And I do want to thank y'all for coming through. Um, I'm going to try to break this video uh, into two parts. Um, I think I just want to leave the whole live up, to be honest. Well, I'm going to leave the whole live up. If somebody want to sit through here and watch the full five hours, they could go ahead and do that. But I'm going to try to break it up. But then again, I feel like, why do I need to break it up? But I'm going to break it up for y'all, okay? I'm going to try my hardest. I'm I'm gonna try my hardest to break it up. Okay, I gotta find it. I gotta figure out how to delete the download the video and all this and all that. I definitely want to thank everybody that came on. We had a lot of tea. Um, this was a great way to end the weekend. Um, but yeah, I wasn't even expecting this live to even go this way. I came on here to talk about Jay Wilson and Five Babe, and this shit went totally. Totally, totally left. Totally left. Um, you have great interviews. Use non bias is always the way to go. Thank you. You should have let them. Y'all wouldn't have seen it. Wally not even listening. More views when you break it up, Brie. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna break it up. I'm gonna leave this up and I'm gonna just break it up. I'm gonna try to break it up in like three parts. But this main video, the whole collective, is gonna stay up. Um, somebody said I really enjoyed me. Thank you. So to all 475 people in here, like the video, dislike the video, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. Um, let us say as it is. Oh, I am. I'm definitely am. Not all men are like that, hun. Those are the men you're but this attracting. Um, wait, who, sister, who are you talking to? I don't know who sister talking to. I don't, why, um, who Ronnie Q talking to? What's going on? Thanks, Kay Edwards. Thanks, The Real Erica. Oh, yeah, I did promise y'all that. Hold on, let me play it. Shout out to Nicole. Kiss my ass, Brianna. You coming in, and you coming today? Are you coming? Are you coming today, Brianna? Kiss my ass, Brianna. Come on, y'all. The bitch is mad. The bitch is mad. I said the bitch is mad, Brianna. Hey, the bitch is mad. The bitch is mad. I said the bitch is mad, Brianna. Kiss my ass, Brianna. Kiss my, kiss my. Kiss my ass, Brianna. Hey, 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 hey. Where y'all at? Woo! Come on, y'all. Woo! Kiss my ass, Brianna. The bitch is, the bitch is mad. The bitch is mad. The bitch is. Kiss my ass, Brianna. The bitch is mad. The bitch is. The bitch is. We all left for this murderous motherfucking weekend. We about to go in on some fucking shit that's going on right now on the YouTube. Kiss my ass, Brianna. Are you coming in? Are you coming today? Are you coming? Are you coming today, Brianna? Kiss 
my ass, Brianna. Come on, y'all. The bitch is mad. The bitch is mad. I said the bitch is mad. The bitch is where y'all at for this murderous motherfucking weekend. We about to go in on some fucking shit that's going on right now on the YouTube street. Child, the goddamn queen who... All right, y'all. It was nice seeing y'all. I love y'all. The Cash App is posted. Hit me up on Instagram. Pretty Girl Breed 352. Thank y'all. Brandon, when you keep 600 people spent for five hours, you made it. Thank you. I can't tell a gay man how to date a gay man. I don't want, like, when a gay man try to tell a woman how to date, it goes both ways. If you if you have a penis, don't tell me what to do with my cat. Exactly. Yeah, Pettyville is definitely winning. Yeah, I gotta go cook and stuff. Nah. <clears throat> but bye, y'all. It's 8 o'clock. Dang, it's 8 o'clock. Yeah, we've been here for five hours, y'all. Bye, y'all. Thanks for the sun, Nicole. Bye, everybody.